what is up? So at this point, I have my three-phase condenser and I have a new air handler to put up in the attic to go along with it, which will be converting my system from R22 over to R410. So, new stuff. This won't be hodgepodge in that old Goodman like I originally planned, but finding three-phase R22 compressors became a little more difficult, especially that size and that voltage. Most of what we work with is 460 volt, and I needed 230. I got the Lennox for free. It's gonna need a couple modifications because it's not even a heat pump condenser, but free, I think I could convert it to a heat pump. Probably save that project for later in the year. Depends. So, yeah, or so. At this point, I need to prep this because I realized I'm not ready to uh, yank out my system, especially being in the middle of summer when I'm using it. Because this isn't just a simple install and turn on. This this is a three phase. I got to have the VFD set up, and I was maybe just going to put the VFD in a box or something. But I think I'm just going to actually mount the VFD in the unit itself at this point. Come up with a little brainstorm last night. Here's one of my VFDs. This one's a nut. It's a new one. You see this one, which was also new. Look how the sun has changed the colors of it already, huh? That's that was new, but that's the one I've been using for testing. This is another new one. I got a couple boxes of these. So look at the heat sink. I took the fan out, which went on the top there. I don't like what that one is. And this whole back section is all heat sink right here, like back half of it. And then the front part's electronics. Well, I'd like to put this unit in here, but of course, you know, <laughs> it's that's not going to fit. But I think if I take and I gotta remove that contactor anyways, which is not gonna be used. Just put in a regular little 9340 relay probably to run that fan. So I'm gonna have that space down there. I think I'm gonna measure this and cut this out in there and I'm gonna recess in this VFD into that hole. Okay, out here in the garage. Took a plasma cutter and just Scribed it real quick with a pencil and just used my uh, straight edge, my uh, speed square actually just held it there to guide the uh, plasma cutter tip. It came out pretty good, just drop that out. And this is gonna basically just sit down in there. I have to, uh, the screws are hitting, so I'm gonna put it behind there and put the screws back in, but that's basically what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, all right, take it off. Hell yeah! That's gonna be it. Just put all the trim back on and everything. Be nice to have the VFD right here. We'll be able to get to it. And inside, the fins will be cold. Just enough of a gap from the precious copper. Right? That's super close. Yeah. <laughs> but close is good enough. It's got like a quarter over a quarter inch so we're good it ain't gonna touch yeah it should be all right yeah cool that should work i might have to seal it a little better later maybe uh once, I, once it's up and running i can always run maybe a bead up and over here some silicone or something yeah so it don't get into the precious electronics <laughs> that wouldn't be good but yeah that's gonna work out that's gonna be nice